Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Hello and welcome back to Greenwich Valley. We have purchased another field. So we've got the plough on. We are heading over there to get it ploughed. And whether we leave it until the spring or whether we drill it with winter wheat or we'll have to wait and see. It's dependent on the weather. We are in the early winter and it could well be difficult to get it to grow but we have got £117,000 left got I think one load of sugar beet left to go into the factory we've got all our potatoes and all the cereals left to sell as well so we should have enough money to get ourselves our new combine for harvest. If we don't we will have some demonstrators for the year. Keep getting some different demonstrators in. We have got a combine on order but uh, it's not here yet. At the field we bought we will head over there. It's field 100 in the local area and it's next to the just at the back of the store and tur turbine grain. It's a fairly big field. So hopefully it won't be too long getting the money back. We've got some sugar beet to sell as well because we had two loads go in. They haven't processed it all yet. You can see there the bags on pallets waiting to be distributed so we can get our money for the sugar content and we are now going to head over into field 100 the chap who used to own the field it's the next field along so we may well end up holding a bit of traffic up here. We're going to have to jump off the tractor, get the gate open. There we go. And this is the field we now own. 10.81 acres. So should get a good crop of. wheat or barley, whatever we grow off this bit on this field, we shall try and get ourselves lined up with this side. That should be. I think we're going to need to get ourselves a line to follow. I think I found one. There we go. It won't be right to the edge of the field but if we can keep straight there and the plough is going to be the right side for what we need so now then let's now have a look see it's not 30 feet wide we will auto whip it that would be 11 foot wide, I don't think. We can go down to 10 feet and see what happens. We need driving lines on, headlands on, set A. We use the
GPS, then we should be able to get cloud nicely. Okay, where are we going now? We are probably a little too narrow. We do want to get a little wider than that. width up to 11 feet and see where we are. Probably 12 feet actually. Don't want to be too short of it. That's not far off. We will now got the drone up, we will head up the field <coughs> excuse me we shall head up the field and we've got the drone up so you can see us working the field, the paint has come off the flower, it's been used a good bit we shall now head up to the top of the field See, it's a long old field, once you shift the drone around, because we've got a tree coming. And still, I don't know, this is, I think the green one is where we go back the other way, so, uh, yeah, everything working to plan at the moment. This is a long old field, so hopefully we can plough with GPS. At least we've got GPS to start us up on a straight track, so that's if the GPS system doesn't work properly, it doesn't matter. But if it doesn't work, if we can't work it properly, more to the point, because GPS will work. There we have it. Now we need to work out the rest of these breeds down here. That isn't we don't need that all. We need this all. I think we shall turn the GPS off. We've got the Flying straight now, we can run in the furrow, so we can continue ploughing. We've got ourselves a straight line with GPS, which is all we could ask for really. We know roughly where we're heading, work this end out and then work our way across to the far side of the field. new field on the farm. It's very exciting times. Will mean more money coming in each year. Which means we can expand even further. We have bought a new tractor this year. Well we've bought two new tractors. We bought the McCormick when we didn't have enough money to buy the tractor we really wanted. And we also got the New Holland T7 Blue Power that we are on. And now let's we will plough straight out to the grass. There we go. We shall now head back up. Get this side finished. busy ploughing. Hopefully the weather will slow you with us, the ground won't get frozen, we can put some winter wheat in here. Other than that, if the ground does get frozen, then we shall drill it with spring barley. Spring barley may well be a good crop to get in here for this year. 
working out nicely. We are getting pretty much all of this done. So whatever it doesn't cover this time we can reverse up for. Not far short of the old field side being finished. In fact I think we are just about covering the old lot of this. Seems as if it's working pretty well there. We missed a piece there. We can just run back, make sure we get it. We'll leave a bit of a furrow in the middle of the field, but not to worry about that. Right, now we need to get back into here. This Lemkin plough really does work well on the on the T7. We shall now head back down. Working without GPS is quite soothing actually when you're doing the ploughing. We're in the forest and the GPS won't work properly. But, uh, yeah, this is working pretty nicely. We'll hopefully get this ploughing finished today. Tomorrow the last of the sugar beet will go. And we shall see what we're doing going forward from there. I think we showed you the JCB load all that we got. So with having the JCB load all and the International 644 to do the ploughing. Uh, Loading, we have decided that we are selling the Anderson Auto Stacker. We are now going to stack our bales all ourselves again. We shall come straight out to the edge of that. We shall reverse up to get the piece here that we missed because we didn't start off as straight as we would like. So then we shall now reverse the plough over. And we shall doodle off back up the top of the field. It is uphill, so good job we've got the power of the T7, although the optimum would have been just as good for us to use. We may go with another case tractor when we need a new one, I don't know yet. Great demand of turbine drain trouble. We are a little busy getting this ploughing done. Uh, we won't be selling any crops there at the minute. Although it would probably give us a good excuse to run the new Bailey trailer over there and try it out. Everything seems to be working to plan. We will get down to this end. Now turned over. Get ourselves back down. I 
things uh, working nicer with this. Working over nicer, the ground is dry, the air temperature is still at 9 degrees, as is the ground temperature. So, uh, yeah, leave this piece there, I don't know how to manage that. Don't need a big piece like that missing. take ourselves nicely into the borough. And away we go again. Working much better now. Good even actually. Yeah, we don't need no maize because we haven't got anywhere to make silage. Well, we shall either a barley or oats going in this field. In the next year we are on a bit of an old side and see the way the tractor leans at times with the contours in the field. going to leave an headland down this end because getting too close to the although this breed can come right out. Or we get ourselves set in to go back again. We'll leave the Adelant to plow. There we go. Uh, still, as I say, got 118,000 left in the bank, so we aren't skinned. Can't afford the combine now, even if they ring up and say, well, the combine's here. We can't afford that at the moment. But, uh, everything working nicely and building up the farm to seventh of Wednesday the seventh of December at the moment so we do want to start and think about getting the Christmas tree very soon. Probably get it on the twenty third or twenty fourth of December. Let's see just how things go. This tractor does move on pretty well, 8 miles per hour. We are 7 inches deep with the plough. And the ploughing at a depth of 7 inches, burying all the stubble that's left over and the field not wanted ploughing we would have just brought the drill straight down here but uh, the guy who sold the field he may be selling some more land going forward he's split up with his wife and uh, he's having to sell off a bit of land to pay her, her share of the farm in the settlement. At the minute he's agreed to sell this field, which we are happy with for ourselves, but never nice when anything like that happens. Working well, we're getting nicely across the field. There's a piece of stubble there that didn't get ploughed in, but we often get little bits like that that stick up from other crops. Getting to the 
the end again nicely. We are 20 minutes in, another, another 5 and 10, 5 and 9 minutes to show you this ploughing. We'll put the drone up so you can see it working for the last bit. I've got wide tyres on this and could have done with slightly smaller wheels on for this job but uh, wide tyres are what you've got to do. Well, I think behind the tree a little I think of the screen for the drone. I've got some long breeds in here, so gets the work done pretty quickly when you've got long rows like this and not all the time turning, which is brilliant. And things looking good. Hopefully then through the winter, if we do decide to have this spring barley, which we may well do now. Trimming wheat in December not ideal. We do keep swim barley, hopefully we'll get some frost on here at the break the topsoil up a little bit and make it easier when we come to drill. It is in the middle of nowhere so to speak, like fields 8 and 9 that we own, where they're nowhere near the farm. See how it goes going forward. And we'll just circle the drone around a little so you don't hide behind the trees too much. Zoom the drone down a little as well. big washing job that we've got before the onset of winter may well have to wait. May well have some wheat or barley go or even our seed rates. We'll see what the prices are like leading up to Christmas. I know we've got a load of potatoes to wash that will be close to Christmas, about December the 23rd, they've got to get the 22nd, 23rd of December. So they do go to the supermarkets, we sell them in bulk, they bag them up in little two and a half kilo bags. There's washed potatoes for you to buy. Look out around your local supermarket for summer farmer steaks and potatoes. You should say farm name on the origin of the prom. This is working well. This tractor, please, we've got the new RT7 actually. It's working this plow nicely. Work the drill nicely when we had it on there. And we'll hopefully work well on the sugar beet harvest when we come to harvest sugar beet next year. We've got, we've got it in four-wheel drive, we haven't even had to put the pit locks on to 
get traction coming up this hill, the ground is nice and dry so we're getting the grip we need without. It is an electronic dip, we we'll just press a button there on the dashboard, quits the dip lock, no longer having to put the foot on it to get it to engage. See how close to the shop it is, I told you it was near the store and turbine drain. Turbine drain just the other side of that fence, the store just the other side of the trees. So I'm surprised that 7th of December, I'm surprised all the leaves have gone before now, but I guess it's because it's been a mild winter thus far, I've had a little bit of rain time to time but as we come down this breed that is where we're going to leave it for today we hope you've enjoyed this episode watching us plough the new field please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment some of our mistakes will Pass the comments over to us. Thank you to Summer Farm Estates for hosting our vlogs on their channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell, it will tell you when these videos are uploaded, when to do the live streams. Until you join us next time, thank you very much for watching. We shall continue and finish the ploughing. Until then, have a great day and goodbye for now.